I think I first read the Communist Manifesto when I was about 16 years old and it was a time when everybody read it, all the people around me. It was that phase of life and that time in the world when progressive ideas seemed to be natural and where this was almost like the first beginning text that everyone had to read. And of course, it was striking and it, it seemed not just very ambitious, but in a way kind of uh, opening up a whole new world of a different way of looking at things and very, very optimistic, which is also important for the young. Over the years, of course, many things have changed. The world has changed dramatically and all kinds of things have happened. But it's one of those things which, you know, it lays a foundation for your thinking in so many ways that you don't even realize how much it is affecting you and how much it has determined your framework. And thinking back on it now, it's remarkably contemporary. Not everything in it, but there's so many ideas that are still very, very fresh. Not just the notion of capitalism, the significance of a working class, but also the idea of globalization, for example, how capital is going to invade everything and it has to spread across the world. It's in its nature to try and spread, not just in search of markets, but everywhere it will actually absorb whatever it can in the uh, ways in which it looks at the ideas of nations and how they collapse in this uh, period when capital is spreading its tentacles everywhere, how it changes ideas and the ways in which we look upon the world. There's that wonderful evocative phrase, all that is solid melts into thin air. And that passage, I can't remember it fully, but it's also very evocative of this world of digital technologies that we live in today. There are many, many things in it which are amazingly relevant. So it's one of those timeless works, really. It's a short piece. It's written in a very declamatory style. Uh, but nonetheless, it's quite astonishingly profound for its times and for our times as well.